And I have always said that ever since this Go Proud nonsense uh, came about and caused this big kerfuffle, I, I have said essentially that this is just a homosexual activist organization. They have said we are a gay rights organization. That, that is their primary focus. There, there's nothing conservative about that. I, I have often said that they really, I think, viewed themselves as a divide and conquer kind of uh, organization to get in and cause this kind of disruption within the true conservative movement. They did exactly that. I think finally people are waking up to the reality that that was the purpose they were trying to serve, was trying to, uh, essentially to infiltrate the conservative movement and inject these liberal uh, homosexual activist demands into the conservative movement and, and gain further steam to divide and conquer, if you will. They didn't get away with it. They may have gotten away with it for the short term. For the long term, I think that this can actually strengthen the conservative movement. If if a candidate is running for office and, and decides that somehow they think it's going to be politically expedient to embrace the demands of the homosexual activist lobby, uh, they're, they're really kidding themselves. Any candidate who wishes to represent conservative principles uh, not only cannot defend or fight for the homosexual activist agenda, uh, in order to, I think, be viewed as a true conservative, they have to stand against it and do so firmly and, and, and with, uh, uh, without equivocation.